Shakur Stevenson, known for his outspokenness, didn't hold back when Isaac Cruz refused him a title shot, insisting he had to earn it. Stevenson took to Instagram Live and unleashed a more unified champion at 130 pounds. Gibbons stressed that Cruz was focused on delivering exciting matchups for fans, citing Stevenson's alleged lack of appeal as a factor in their decision-making process. Looking ahead, Gibbons highlighted Cruz's aspirations for significant bouts in 2024, mentioning potential matchups with fighters like Rayleigh Romero or Ryan Garcia. He underscored Cruz's of substantial following among Hispanic fans, drawing comparisons to the popularity of Saul Canelo Alvarez and suggesting that a bout with Garcia could become a major event in the boxing calendar. On the other side, Stevenson responded vehemently to Cruz's decision, asserting his readiness for the fight and dismissing accusations of his style being unexciting. Stevenson, an undefeated former Olympic silver medalist, took to social media to defend his stance, asserting that Cruz was avoiding the matchup. He vehemently proclaimed his dedication to competitive integrity in the ring, countering suggestions that he lacked the skill or courage to face Cruz. The clash between Cruz and Stevenson not only underscores the competitive dynamics within boxing, but also highlights the strategic considerations and differing perspectives that shape fighters' decisions. While Cruz and his team prioritize fan entertainment and the integrity of the sport, Stevenson remains steadfast in his pursuit of recognition and titles, challenging perceptions of his fighting style along the way. The decision by Isaac Pitbull Cruz to decline a fight with Shakur Stevenson reverberates beyond the ring, sparking debates about meritocracy and spectacle in professional boxing. As both fighters chart their paths forward, their contrasting approaches continue to captivate and divide the boxing community, underscoring the sport's ongoing evolution and the complexities of matchmaking in a competitive landscape. We clashed for so long, and now that I'm kind of on the horizon of like the Tinko fight, and now everybody wants to talk about Tink and Lumbo, when we could have been talking about this early on in like my pro career when these two guys was, uh, Lumbo was next time and uh, Tink was about to reach that peak, but I feel like now it's like Lomachenko was on the, got like one or two more fights left in his career probably, and I think that I feel as though they're taking the fight now because the time is now. But if we're talking about like how the fight would play out, I still think like with Lomachenko's skills and stuff, it would still be a good fight. I, I don't think that uh, Lomachenko is a pushover even though he is older. Uh, with the experience he got, the knowledge, uh, I think that it could be a tremendous fight. You know, all of them will down to the end. Lomachenko have punch resistance, but what? Shakur Stevenson countered Isaac Pitbull Cruz's claims by highlighting his recent aggressive performances in the ring. Stevenson pointed to his decisive sixth-round stoppage victory over Shichiro Yoshino as evidence of his evolving fighting style, asserting confidently that Cruz would not have been able to compete with him. Known for his formidable presence in the lightweight division, Cruz had recently turned down the opportunity to face Stevenson, arguing that Stevenson had yet to earn his place in the division. Despite Cruz's reservations, Stevenson remained steadfast in defending his abilities and his style against accusations of being boring. The potential matchup between Stevenson and Cruz had generated significant excitement within the boxing community, leading fans speculating about what could have been. However, with both fighters resolute in their stances, the highly anticipated bout was off the table for the foreseeable future. The debate over their respective styles and merits continued unabated, underscoring the unwavering determination of both fighters to stand by their positions. Stevenson also discussed the prospect of a fight with Gervonta Tank Davis, another prominent figure in boxing circles. Davis, widely regarded as one of the sport's leading figures, appeared somewhat hesitant about the potential matchup despite the logical appeal of a unification fight between two current champions in the lightweight division. Stevenson, for his part, was gearing up for his return to the ring after nearly six months since securing his third world championship title. His brief announcement of retirement during this period had momentarily stunned fans, but he swiftly returned to focus on his career. In a recent interview with respected boxing journalist Kevin Owl, Stevenson touched on various topics, including Davis's recent comments about him. Davis had critiqued Stevenson's performance and approach, which Stevenson attributed to Davis's perspective as a talented fighter who might not fully grasp all facets of boxing. Stevenson dismissed Davis's criticisms as those of someone with a casual approach to the sport, emphasizing that Davis's opinions were more indicative of casual observers rather than deeply knowledgeable boxing enthusiasts. Stevenson pointedly referenced Davis's prediction regarding the outcome of the Isaac Cruz and Rolando Romero fight, where Davis had backed Romero due to his perceived power advantage. 
Stevenson argued that true boxing connoisseurs understood Cruz's superior skills, illustrating that Davis's views often reflected surface-level assessments, rather than comprehensive boxing insights. As Stevenson prepared for his upcoming title defense, the boxing world buzzed with anticipation and speculation about a potential future showdown between Stevenson and Davis. Fans and analysts alike awaited eagerly to see if these two champions would eventually meet in the ring, anticipating a clash that could potentially be one of the most thrilling matchups in recent boxing history. Kevin Owl opened the interview by expressing his admiration for Shakur Stevenson's standing in the pound-for-pound -pound rankings, placing him above all others. However, Owl was keen to hear Stevenson's response to Davis's recent critiques, prompting Stevenson to offer a confident rebuttal that underscored his belief in his own abilities and his commitment to the sport. Look at him and really understand, like, he's a, you could be a special boxer, but don't really have, like, the IQ and the, I, I ain't going to say IQ, but like the, 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 the boxing knowledge, as I say, I say boxing knowledge. Yeah. In my brain, how I look at him, like, he's a talented, special fighter who got, like, God-given abilities. As far as, like, like boxing knowledge and all of that, like, I watched him, but he fought, they, 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 this, this, how, this how I can put it, right? He fought, and that's what he basically said, like, Rosie right. is, he's gonna knock him out his power because he's saying, like, Rosie is stronger. But that, that's a casual opinion. Like, you really think about it, it's a casual opinion. Pitbull's a hard guy to hit. I mean, the style, stylistically. Right. Like, Pitbull's pressure and standing right in front of you, not moving out. Shakur Stevenson is slated to face Art and Harun soon, sparking early discussions about his future challengers. One potential matchup gained traction is between Gervonta Davis and Vasily Lomachenko. There's speculation that Davis might eventually vie for Stevenson's WDC belt. The key question lingers, can Davis handle Stevenson's exceptional boxing IQ and defensive prowess? Commentator Stephen A. Smith noted Stevenson's reputation as an elite defensive boxer, but admitted to needing more exposure to fully grasp Stevenson's skill set. A showdown between Davis and Stevenson is eagerly anticipated and could stand as one of the most compelling matchups in recent boxing history. Until they step into the ring, it's anyone's guess who truly understands the nuances of boxing better. The casual observer of a dedicated student of the sport.